High ticket prices are driving people crazy, especially when things sell out quickly and resale sites are the only option. Take the upcoming PWHL game at the Bell Centre. The one game April 20th that's coming up that I wanted to go and see, the tickets have gone skyrocket. They're $500 to $1,000 for one ticket. And that's not all. Festival d'été de Québec passes resold within hours at three or four times face value. And tickets for the Montreal FC game against Inter Miami and Lionel Messi were going for up to $10,000 on some resale sites. The CAQ government asked MNA Karianne Bourassa to look into the problem and report back with solutions. That's going to be hard. It's a complicated issue. Right now, the law in Quebec says businesses can't resell tickets for higher than face value unless they have permission from the promoter. But individuals can resell to other individuals for as much as they want. That's where the resale sites come in, like StubHub or BA.ca. They act as brokers between individual buyers and sellers, kind of like Airbnb, but for tickets. They earn a commission, but technically, they're not breaking any laws. We know that some resellers use online software, bots, to buy up big bunches of tickets even when there's a limit. That's against the law, but it's really hard to enforce. And sometimes, online buyers aren't even sure they're buying from a reseller. She didn't know, because it really looks like a, a real uh, uh, site like Ticketmaster. Other provinces have tried to fix this. Manitoba had a long-standing ban against anyone reselling tickets. But the province got rid of the ban last year after finding it did nothing to stop out-of-province resellers. How do you implicate a company who's situated, let's say, in China or the United States and they claim that they can do whatever they want? Ontario tried to cap resale prices at 50% above face value, but they scrapped that after finding it was too hard to enforce. We asked the CAQ MNA who's looking into this what she's considering, but she declined to comment. Advocates say just because the problem is hard to fix doesn't mean Quebec shouldn't try. If a show is really, really popular, for example, and people are willing to pay a higher price, it's one thing. But creating uh, a situation that uh, people will have to pay a higher price for just attending a regular show because all the, the tickets are bought or sold very rapidly, um, there's, there's something wrong about that.